Academy, a Robstown street has been shut down for a year after drainage work started and then stopped. It's on the north side of town and the situation has caused at least one business owner to move and plenty of other residents have called into the city upset about the lack of action. Well, Michael Gibson tackled the issue today. He's got some good news for those who thought the huge section of missing road was never going to be repaired. It's been some time since drivers could pass through this section of the Congressman Solomon P. Ortiz Boulevard here in Robstown. That's because, as you can see, this section is a complete mess, but the mayor believes he's found the money to get it repaired. I met up with Mayor Petey Martinez at the site, and he explained that before he took over as mayor, an old drainage pipe had been pulled out from under this road. This is what's left a huge hole because the city did not make the needed repairs. And from there, it stopped because they did not have the funds for it. Folks who drive the street have had to find other ways to get to the other side. The situation was so upsetting to Raul Ramos that he moved his trucking company over to the other side of the highway. He hauls Caliche and Milo. I mean, there used to be a lot of cars going through there all the time. I used to stay at that yard over there, right across that ditch. I used to rent that, you know, I had to go a mile that way and a mile this way and then a mile back and then back this way every morning or every time I had to go to my yard. Mayor Martinez says he's been working to find the money to get this culvert repaired. He believes he finally found a funding source. I think our commissioner, uh, Maris, is willing to help us out with $400,000. County Commissioner John Maris says he's looking to spend those federal stimulus dollars to make the repairs here. He's waiting on word to see if the project actually qualifies for those dollars. He says his fellow commissioners will also have to sign off on this deal. Mayor Martinez says an engineer is already working on the design and he feels work here is going to start by June 1st. Michael Gibson, 3 News.